Hello everyone, this is Smita from Informatica GCS and in this session we are going to discuss about how to enable and disable JDBC spy logging for Power Center to Mine. Agenda of this session are as below Introduction to JDBC spy logging, need for JDBC spy logging for Domain DB, steps to enable and disable JDBC spy log, and a quick demo. JDBC sp spy log is a feature provided by JDBC driver. It will allow you to trace all the JDBC calls made to the database. You can find SQL connection information, SQL queries executed by the application, and execution time of all the SQL queries. Need for JDBC spy logging in Power Center domain. Power Center domain uses JDBC connectivity to interact with domain database. As per design, master gateway node will update domain database every 8 seconds by default. In case of any connectivity issues, node will go down. It could be network issue or database issue or node itself was 100% utilized. In that case, we will record an error message in node.log which says that cannot update the data for master gateway node within the refresh interval time. By design, we have resiliency set in the node. In case of single node, we will wait for 92 seconds. In the case of multi node, we will wait for 32 seconds before bring down the node. If we want to increase this refresh interval time, we can set a custom property in domain which, which is master db refresh interval which can be set up to 30 seconds. Steps to enable JDBC spy log. Before making any changes, please take backup of node.mirror.xml file which is located under info home isp config directory then shut down the node because it's mandatory to do. shut down the node before running this command then go to info home isp bin directory and run info setup.sh update gateway node command with iphone cs option in iPhone CS option, we have to specify domain DB details which are DB host, port, service name or SID along with the spy attributes. In spy attributes, we can specify spy log name, location and line limit and timestamp. Below is the example where I have specified the DB host name, port number and the service, service name. In the spy attributes, I have specified sp spy log name as spy.log which will going to generate in slash home slash informatica 102 directory. If you do not specify any location, then it will generate spy login tomcat bin directory then once the command runs successfully you can go and start the domain service please note that as it will record each and every call to made to the database the log will grow very huge so it's always recommend to have enough disk space in the info home directory also it's recommend to not to enable this log for very long time we can enable jdbc spy log for all the databases which are specified in provide product availability matrix here are few other examples you just need to add spy attributes along with the connection string which is already specified in the node method.xml file. For your reference I have given the KB article number 
which talks about how to enable JDBC SpyLog for other databases in the end of this slide. Disable JDBC spy logging. As I've already mentioned, it's not recommend to enable JDBC spy log for longer period. Once the issue reoccurs and you are able to collect JDBC spy log, we can disable it. To disable, you have to shut down the node first and run infasetup.sh update gateway node command with iPhone CS option. While running this command, remove spy attributes and then start the services. Also for your reference, you can refer KB article 308336 to enable and disable JDBC spy log for different databases. For example, Oracle db2 sql server etc and refer kb article 501783 to understand more about how the domain heartbeat works and what is master db refresh interval let's look into a quick demo on how to enable jdbc spy log Currently, I am in InfoHome Tomcat bin directory and I am shutting down the node process. Once the node is not running, we can go to InfoHome ISP bin directory and run update gateway node command with spy attributes. This is my command where I have specified the DB host, port, service name along with the spy attributes. As I have not specified any location, spy log will be generated in Tomcat bin directory. Let's run the command. Once the command runs successfully, we can go to Tomcat bin directory and start the services. Once the services started successfully, we can see a log file generated in the same location with the name spy.log. As you can see, a spy.log is generated in the tomcat bin directory and it has it's a huge file so as recommended please have enough disk space before enabling spy.log because it can grow quickly so let's look into the content of spy.log As I've mentioned earlier in this video, we can get the connection details. How, what is the uh, JDBC connection string it has been used? Here we can see the host name, port number. Also, what is the version of database? And what is the DB name? Along with that, we can also see what are the queries which has been fired by Informatica. So once the node started, we can see that first it will try to fetch all the tables and some intermediate tables will be created. So basically this log will record each and every interaction with the domain database. In case of any connectivity issues, we can see here there will be a connection gap. 
as I've mentioned since timestamp is mentioned we can see when the fire uh, when the query has been fired and when we got a OK message from the database now let's see what is the SQL statement that has been fired when we are updating the domain database here we can see that an update statement has been fired to ISP master election table from gateway node master gateway node so the first occurrence is at 7.22.51 and the next statement is exactly at 8 seconds 7.52.29 like this in the spy log we can see at an interval of 8 seconds multiple update statements will be fired until the node is healthy in case of any connectivity issue we can see a break where after update statement we will not get ok statement and there is no further update queries has been fired now let's see how to disable JDBC spy login currently I am in tomcat bin directory and I am shutting down services once the services are down go to info home isp bin directory and run info setup update gateway node command without spy attributes once the command runs successfully you can bring up the services once the services are up we can see that there will be no further updates in the spy.log we would love to hear your feedback please write to us at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can use our twitter handler info support to give feedback about this video thank you